Hey, this is Jeremy from NUX3 Tutorials. In NUX3, an emit is always sent to the parent component, always sent to the parent component. So here, the first thing you need to do is define your emits, define the events that you're going to send in this component. So this is how you do it here. Let's do some, let's go to somewhere that is a way this is simpler. So in your uh, script setup right there, right? All you need to do is write this one line here, const emit to find emits, and then you write the emits that you need. And then uh, emit clicked. So this event that we've defined here, we're gonna emit it, send it up to the parent component, and we're gonna send some value with it. And this is how you send the value. You don't need to always send the value. You, you, you can just send it. But if you want the parent component to have some data, then you do it like, like this. So this would be the parent component here, right? In this drop down here, we have this NX menu. This is the child component. And then this NX drop down is the parent component. And so here you have at clicked menu clicked. So when we are saying that whenever we receive this clicked event, which is this clicked event here, and we, 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 we have that value, we're gonna send it to this function and this menu clicked function will receive that event here. And then this can also, you can do whatever you need to do with this value, but you can also emit to the parent component of NX dropdown. So you can continue emitting events to the parent component. And that's how you get it too. Hope you like this video. Hey, um, let me know in the comments below what is the most frustrating thing you have with Nux3. And then, you know what, if you want to learn about authentication in Nux3, I have a tutorial for you. Just click the link in the description of this video. I'm going to show you how to do login and register so you can write, create a nice, beautiful component. I mean, a nice, beautiful app like this. Be able to, to log in like that. Settings, a little dashboard. Teach you about cookies and sessions and all that. Hope you like this video. I will talk to you soon.